If you're running an automated cold email campaign, you've probably noticed this one core problem. And that problem is, is you get a decent amount of replies, but hardly any of those replies lead to actual book calls and closed deals for you. So in this video, I'll be breaking down the exact strategy I'm using inside of my own cold email campaigns using a brand new angle that's getting me a consistent 5% reply rate so you can just copy what I'm doing in your own business. What I'm gonna review with you today is what I like to call the boomerang method that has just been absolutely crushing it for us in many different ways. I'm going to break this down in three different sections. I'm just going to pretend that I am a ads agency. I do paid ads for people. I can serve anyone anywhere. I'll set up their whole campaigns. I'll run ads for them, help them get more clients. That's just who I'm going to assume I'm going to be. The first thing that we need to focus on is the list. What I used to do when I first started using cold email and really trying to scale my cold email is I would get a list of 100,000 people that could potentially need help with my ads or helping them scale. Now I would blast them with the same message. And the problem with this is there's no relevance. So what we really need to focus on is rather than building a ton of lists or like a list that's super, super large, we want to build a list where we can be super relevant for it. What I'm going to focus on, if I'm an ads agency, I'm just going to say dentists. So instead of just saying, I'm going to pull the biggest list of 10,000 people, 20,000 people, as many people as I can possibly grab, I'm going to be hyper niche. We want relevance, smaller lists. Relevance is going to be the most important thing as it comes to the boomerang method. So what I like to do is I'm just going to go over to instantly. I'm just going to go into their super search and I can just simply go to job titles is any of CEO. Let's do owner, founder, throw in co-founder there too. And then instantly super search will automatically pull my ideal clients. For the industry and keywords, I'm just going to do include keywords of dentist, dentistry, dental. Okay, so this gave me a list of 33 thousand CEOs, owners, founders, and co-founders with the business name essentially being dentistry, dental, dentist. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and click on find emails. And what instantly super search will do is I can go ahead and click on continue and it'll give me a fully enriched profile, meaning it's going to give me their contact company description, company headcount, their LinkedIn profile. And it's also going to verify their work email through a really strong verification process so that when I do in fact send them an email, I can have confidence knowing that's actually going to land in their inbox. So all I need to do is click on continue and I'm just going to enrich the first 25 for the sake of this video. Once the lists have been enriched, it looks something like this. So I can see I have the first name, last name, company, location, LinkedIn, work email, validated work email, their contact headline, contact summary, company description, company industry, and so much more. That's going to lead us into the next most important thing, which is going to be the copy. When we're building the lists, we're building the list with the intention to write copy that's actually going to be relevant for who we're actually reaching out to. Where copy is going is it's becoming a lot more value driven, let's call it. It's not always the highest volume, the best copy. It's the most most relevant message is going to win when it comes to writing copy. And because we have a list that we can write really good copy for, this is where we need to work on the copy. The most important things in the copy are going to be relevance. And then I'm going to put value because if we can be relevant to the person that we're sending to, meaning the email that the person is receiving thinks, wow, this was written specifically for me. Amazing. And then value driven thing with cold email. People don't know you. People don't trust you. You're somebody landing in their inbox. And in order to build trust with somebody and get them to be like, oh, this person actually understands what I'm going through. The best way to do that is through adding value that's actually relevant. The real problem is I just pulled this list of 30,000 people. How am I going to write copy that's personalized, relevant, and value driven for all of these different people? What I used to do is I'd have these GPT for sheets, do all these mail merge stuff and connections. And it was just a tech headache at the end of the day. Today, we can actually use instantly to you have AI write really, really solid emails for us. So really the framework for me for the relevance and value is I'm really going to come up with three ideas. So this is the three ideas strategy and the copy where we're going to provide our ideal customer who we're emailing with three ideas on how they can get to the outcome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to instantly. And with this list that I already created, what I can do is I can go ahead and click on add a column. Then you will see this button that says use AI. That's what we want to click here. Then you'll see down here, we can actually create a custom prompt that will pull information from the fields. 
Meaning, if I want to pull information from the company description, from the contact summary, contact headline, whatever it could be, I could use that and write a personalized, relevant email based off of what I'm able to pull from the enriched profile. So that's really the benefit of enriching the profile to the max, which is what we did. All I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy over this prompt here that will provide three relevant ideas to this specific dentist that I am emailing that will help them get to the outcome that I can provide. So if I'm a website agency, I'm going to provide three ideas on how they can optimize their website to increase conversion. So let's go ahead and look at this prompt really quickly. I was like, start with, I'm a specialist in helping dentists get new patients using paid ads on Meta. Give three concise and short paid media ideas based on the client's website description. Identify key specials to offer based on what they do, unique offer ideas to get new patients in the door and strategies to increase leads. Idea one, creative idea based on who they target. Idea two, targeting idea based on their location. Idea three, creative idea based on who they target. So I'm kind of teasing up with some ideas on what the prompt could help me out with. Each idea should be conversational and a suggestion, like create a campaign, make each idea one line, unique and short, make tone professional and conversational, do not use any bold letters, create a space between each idea, start with each idea with a new row and a dash at the start. And then I inputted the company description, company website, and company location. Now what I can do is I can create a column that's going to be a AI three ideas. But then what I can do is I can click the model. So let's just test out GPT-5. I can go ahead and click on generate test output and see how it does. All right, and in just a few seconds here, it gave me some ideas. So create a campaign highlighting in your conservative tech forward care for anxious adults with a complimentary second opinion plus digital scan using lead forms and click to call book consults. Create a geo-targeted Austin campaign three to five mile radius around each office and Utah campus. Promoting a $99 new patient exam. Cleaning x-rays, optimizing the calls slash messenger and peak commute hours. Create a family focused protect their enamel campaign with a back-to-back -back school checkup bundle. Awesome. If I read this and I was a dentist, I would for sure be down to do this. Let's just say we want to use a different LLM. Maybe I want to try a little Claude. I can go ahead and regenerate a test output. Create a campaign targeting parents in Austin with a first visit fun pack for kids, including a toy and photo with a tooth fairy character. That's awesome. Let's just say I love this. All I need to do is click on generate and I can enrich the first 25 rows. And then what's going to happen is it's going to start building the AI ideas for all of the contacts in my list here. So as we can see, it is adding the personalized line, the three ideas to every single contact that I have in just one click. And in just a couple of minutes, we can see that the campaign ideas have been written for each dentist. Now, all we need to do is go ahead and go to campaigns. I can just add a new one and just call this dentist test three ideas go back to my super search go back to my lead list that i just pulled make sure everything is there wonderful select all these bad boys move these to the campaign go ahead and click on confirm go back to campaigns go back to three ideas go to leads i can see all these in there then i can see the ai column being added here three ideas right there bada boom now if i go to sequences and then i can just click on return click on variables add in three ideas ai three ideas click on preview select a lead that i want to test it with so these are all teed up that are relevant so now all i need to do is just clean up the copy a little bit so that it makes sense hi first name had some ideas on how you could add some new patients. We can click on preview, select the lead. Hi, Mark. I had some paid ad ideas on how you could add some new patients this next quarter based on what's working for our current dentist clients. Create a campaign, blah, 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 blah. So there's the copy. That checks off the ideas of copy. Now we're going to move to the last section, which is going to be our call to action. So what most people do in this situation is they say, oh, let's book a call tomorrow at 2 p.m. Do you have time? Hey, I got time tomorrow at 1 p.m. Okay, let's, let's chat. No, we want to be relevant and value driven. That also needs to lead to the call to action. Again, think about it from a customer's perspective. If they're receiving an email from you and it's just, hey, let's book a call. I have no idea who you are. Are they going to say yes? The likely answer is they're not going to say yes. Call to action, as always, is going to be value. And when I do value, I am going to send something for free that's relevant. So if I am selling paid ads to dentists, what do you think that I could give away for free that would actually be relevant to somebody who's wanting to grow their practice based off of the three ideas that I provided? In this case, what we're going to do for the call to action is I'm going to say, if you're currently looking for new patients or are thinking about running ads in the near future, we've helped over 300 dentists scale. Could I create three ads plus ad copy that you could run on your own to start attracting new patients. We're offering to just build them three ads that they could try on their own. I Mark had some ideas on how you could add some new clients. I'm just going to remove paid ads. Just say ideas. Had some ideas on how you could add new clients this quarter based on what's currently working for our dentist clients. Create a campaign targeting young professionals. Da, da, da. Currently looking for new patients who are thinking about running ads in the near future. I'd love to create three proven ads 
that you could run on your own to start attracting new patients at no cost. Three ideas. Let's just look at this together. Break down this copy. Hi, Hardy. Had some ideas on how you could add some new clients this next quarter based on what's working for our current dentist clients. Create a campaign targeting young professionals in Austin with a lunch break smile boost special offering quick teeth whitening sessions during work hours. Fire. Target new Austin residents with a 10 mile radius of your practice with a welcome to Austin dental package that includes a free exam and discounted cleaning. Create a campaign for Austin's outdoor enthusiasts featuring a weekend warrior special that addresses sports related dental concerns with custom mouth guards and emergency care education. Currently looking for new patients or are thinking about running ads in the near future. I'd love to create three proven ads that you could run on your own to start attracting new patients as soon as this week. This is what's getting responses. If I'm looking for new patients, I'm going to respond to this and I'm going to take these people up on their offer. Now, let's go ahead and save this. Let's talk about just like the overall funnel. When somebody responds, so let's just say we get a response from our call to action and people are like, yes, I want this. Instead of basically guessing, what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to get them on a call from there. So here's where the funnel really kicks in and books calls. The thing is, is if you, like let's just use this as an example. Let's just say, oh, could I create a landing page for you? Maybe that's your thing and you're a website agency. Okay, if you're gonna create a high converting landing page and you know nothing about the business, it's not gonna be a good landing page and it's not gonna be actually helpful. So if I'm gonna create three ads for this client and I know nothing about them other than what's on their website, the ad's not actually going to be helpful and it's not going to work. That's part one. Part number two is there needs to be a little bit of friction, not friction maybe, but like, hey, there needs to be some skin in the make game from both ends where we can provide the most amount of value, one, but also there's going to be a cost of your time in order to get this so that we can make the landing page amazing, the three ads that we're going to create for them amazing, which in fact is going to require a call. So when we get people saying yes, send over those three ads, we're going to book a call with them. So what we're going to do is immediately when they say yes, we're going to say, perfect, let's set up a time to chat so they can understand your brand so I can create these three ads that are amazing. And then what happens on the call, it can either go one of two ways. It's basically going to be a sales call. Essentially, you're going to understand them, understand what they're doing, build some rapport with them. Of course, if it leads to, hey, just send me over the three ads. Like, I just want to try that out. Perfect. But if we have a good sales process and we're good salespeople and we can uncover if there is a problem that we can solve as a marketing company or whatever the service that we're providing for these people, then that's naturally going to come up with FaceTime with these people. That's basically the funnel. When they say yes, we're not just going to throw them the graphics, throw them the landing page, throw them whatever we're offering them. We're going to go for the kill on the call. And that's going to be our mechanism for following up. And that's going to be our full strategy is to get them from saying yes to jumping on a call so that we can provide the most amount of value and actually create something that's relevant. So literally just steal the same strategy and your replies and your book calls will go up. If you want to use the software that I used here, go and check out the description and to learn how to use that software for yourself, click on the video on the screen here to go to the next video where I'll give you a full tutorial on how to use instantly from A to Z. See you over there.